happening to Budget Builders and welcome back to the channel. I've got something really exciting here today. We're here in a local scrap yard. You can see all the crushed cars around us, but we have one that was scrapped, but is not scrapped and we got to rescue it. I love these and I think some of you do too. This is an 81 or 82 early West, or no, this is a late Westmoreland. This is a late Westmoreland rabbit pickup truck or caddy. This truck has been here for something like 25 years and has been off of the road for just about 30. And it's growing in there. We're gonna have to try to cut this thing out of here. Wow, let's get to work. This truck is becoming one with nature here. <laughs> Look at the tree. That is trees growing through the bumper. It is incredible the amount of mosquitoes. Look at that little scared. I think that about got him out of there. Not bad. Without further ado, I guess it's time to dig into this beautiful engine bay. Make sure nothing jumps out. I guess I can get rid of our break through. I like our little brush guard, but 
Hopefully nothing jumps out and gets me. Oh, my goodness. Thankfully it's a diesel and these only run on have to run on one wire because I'm gonna assume there's not much wiring in here. I guess we kind of just sort of dig in here. We better be careful because there are some massive briars in here. Some of you may recognize this filter right here, big diesel cartridge filter. This is the same filter that was in our blue, our Lago blue early Westmoreland that we TDI swapped when we first pulled it out of the barn. Oh geez. These are those nasty bro. Look at those. Ugh. Now something here that I'm not remarkably ecstatic to see is you can see this engine cover is kicked over, which probably means squirrel's nest in the intake. Now the nice thing is as far as the intake goes, you actually breathe in from up here. You do have little ports, however. You do have little ports that actually can pick fuel up, unburnt fuel from the bottom. This doesn't look terrible. I just want to get this cleaned out. I'm going to have to get the hose out here. I hate just blowing stuff everywhere, but I need to get this cleaned out and block it off, and then let's blow the rest of this engine bay off. First, I'll vacuum that, though. Believe it or not, there actually is a motor in there. Let's see what we're working with. As far as oil goes, if I can get the dipstick out. Come on. Not much on it. Doesn't smell bad, I don't see any water, so that's a good sign. One of my main concerns with this one was that we had some nest in here. Hopefully they didn't pee down the intake. As far as the cat goes, not bad. No moisture sign, so that is good. I think one of our next steps here is, I am going to, problem is you can't hardly get anything in here. I'm gonna put a little, spray some lubrication down here. Uh, I don't wanna pull the injectors. If you don't have to pull injectors in these, you don't want to. These are prone to stripping or cracking the head there at the injector. So if we don't have to mess with the injectors, we're gonna let them ride. But as far as it goes, I'm gonna to try to soak down in here and then let's get a bolt on the crank or a wrench on the crank. Let's see if this thing turns over. Coming through here, the crank bolt is a 17 millimeter. Ah, oh, yeah. E, what do we got going on here? Well, it is free, but we are spinning over, I can tell we have a lot of trash down here and I think in between the pulley and it immediately stopped the crank. 
but I don't think we have rust on the cylinder, so that is really good. I'm gonna grab these four 13 millimeter bolts. balancer to come off. I guess it's not really a balancer on this, but pulley, whatever. Oh yeah, it's a mess in there. So the only thing I seem to be running into is a tight spot. What is that about? Maybe it's just compression. No, that's a dead stop. Oh wow, yeah, that's a dead stop. Okay, we get about a half a revolution smoothly and then it stops. I think our best plan of action so we don't tear anything up is to actually go ahead and take the lines off. Let's pull these injectors. It's a little scary to do, but if the motor shot, the motor shot, so what does it matter? <laughs> I, I think someone might have put a head on here because I notice it's missing the clips. This gasket's backwards. This looks fresher and the belt doesn't look like it has much wear. Maybe it's just out of time. Hopefully they didn't try to put it on the starter and just go after it. You never know, these weren't worth very much now, let alone 20 something years ago. And maybe they just gave up on it and took it to the scrap yard. This right here is the special little tool that you use to take these out. And they kind of go in and wrap around everything. And then we just keep our fingers crossed so we don't destroy something. Maybe if it has had head work, this won't be too bad. Oh yeah. Don't. Don't get excited yet. And then here is our heat shield, which we'll probably put new of those in if the motor's any good. No, no. What am I looking at? Okay, oh, just kidding. I don't know what I'm even looking at. Oh, you can't see a thing through this anyways. Shoot. Nothing. Mm -mm. Probably just need to pull the head. It's actually got it has Allen, it has like ARP style bolts because this would have originally been a 12 point. Someone had just, I bet the timing's wrong on this thing. Or they did a head and it dropped a valve immediately. I went ahead and removed the six, six millimeter Allen bolts out of the intake. And then you have one nut that connects it to the exhaust manifold. Off goes your intake and wow, do you have a lot more room. Not a bunch of trash in there. So that's good if we can get the motor turning over. They just did the head. There's silicone on the exhaust manifold. I bet this thing's out of time. That would be beautiful, but if they turned it over and bent a valve, then what's it matter? <laughs> yeah, that's not a new head. So we'll go ahead and drop the pan. You've just got 10 millimeter bolts all the way around. And then we can kind of check and see what's going on up under here. So this is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. See how pretty shiny these connecting rods are? Except this one. And I don't think it has a bearing in it. What in the world is going on? And this thing's been all over. It doesn't look bad in here though. I don't know. So no bearing left on this side and up in there, little tiny bit of bearing. It definitely spun it and there's just nothing left. The crank looks, it's ate up, it's shot. So at this point, we know our crank is shot, that one rod is shot, probably worn out, and with it as clean as it is and coming up and stopping, I do believe we probably dropped an exhaust valve that's pretty common on these. And at this point, the, the one sixes are fairly common. I've probably got a few locally I can jump on. We actually have one in Crispy over there, but I hate to pull it out of it. But with that being said, it looks like 
basically most of this motor shot. And so I, I don't think there's any point in rebuilding it. We do have a, looks like a really nice injection pump, still had some fluid in it, and it's probably good to go. So that'll be a good core, something to save for another one. But as far as the engine itself goes, I, I, I don't think it's worth holding on to on this one. Now the thing is, now let me ask you this, because this is kind of my idea. I just think the way this looks, this truck looks, the factory tow mirrors, the crazy stripes and everything, see how it's sitting right here? I think we should lift this truck, put some white letter all-terrains on it, do completely the opposite of what we did with the little blue truck. I think this one would be really cool. We've got a replacement windshield in here. Probably go through, clean it up, clear coat it maybe if it needs it. But I just think this one would look awesome set up. Maybe a brush guard, roof rack, kind of do a little off-road style uh, excursion, expedition style truck. I think it would really look cool with this one. But with that being said, do we go through and mess around with another little 1.6 diesel? Do we put a gas motor in it? Maybe do we TDI swap it? Do we put a 1.8 liter turbo in it? It's kind of where we're at on this one. We have to decide. I think the truck is awesome. I, I absolutely love this thing and I hope you guys do too. I think it's one that really needs to be saved. We need to rescue this thing, but we have to at this point decide where to go with it. We could get that motor running, but I, I think at this point it's probably a little too far beyond, especially with a bad head probably a bad block if that valve is shot around a little bit and I, I did see some scarring from the bottom side and knowing the crank is shot and everything too i think we're just kind of beyond you know it's a 200 dollar motor in good running condition so i think we're kind of beyond it there but let me know down in the comment section in the comment section what you think you what you think we should do should we just go back stock with the thing or should we build it which i think we should build it I really hope you all enjoyed this episode, being able to rescue this truck from the scrapyard where we've been sitting since 1998, tucked away, hidden from the world, and this thing needs to be brought back out. And we're gonna get it brought back to life. We didn't exactly get to get the thing running. I really wish we had. This is one of the only ones that have defeated us. But I think, I think it's a little too far gone. But that is gonna wrap it up for this episode. Thank you all so much, as always, for the incredible love and support we've had so far on this channel. We couldn't be here and do what we do without all of you. And if you haven't already, you enjoy the rescues, all the weird, quirky cars that we mess with. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, notification bell. Peace out. Catch you all on the flip side. Even if it is dead, there's no way I can leave that head on there and not know what's going on up top. So let's take it real quick. Let's throw our impact on it. Let's pop that head off so we can at least see what's going on down there. Well, it's pretty crusty, but see the valve imprint? Well, maybe the valve's dropped and it just, no, it can't be. I don't think so. I think it was out of time. Why'd they build a motor and with a, with no connecting rod bearing. Well, there was a connecting rod bearing. There just was nothing left of it, but. I am so confused.